For many years, Chinese leaders' focus was directed inward. But that is no longer the case, as we saw with the recent spy balloon passing over the United States, a blatant violation of our sovereignty by a country that claims to be a responsible actor. Either this was a huge mistake by some entity within the Chinese government, or it was a test of our resolve by Xi. If it was, he got a clear answer. This is not a partisan issue. This is truly an American issue and a bipartisan issue. The first place where we should demonstrate resolve is through better support for Taiwan. Nothing is more urgent than in, uh, ensuring Taiwan has the capabilities and training to deter Chinese aggression. If we do not help them prepare now, we may all pay a much higher cost later. PRC is the only competitor with the intent and means to reshape the international order, a fact borne out in the PRC's provocations in the South China Sea, its human rights abuses, its use of economic coercion, its threatening behavior against Taiwan, and of course, uh, what we have just uh, witnessed. The Biden-Harris administration responded swiftly to protect Americans and safeguard against the balloon's collection of sensitive information. <clears throat> we made clear to PRC officials that the presence of this surveillance balloon was unacceptable, and along the way we learned a thing or two which you'll hear in the classified briefing about the PRC's use of the balloon. Our response to this incident reaffirmed our core priorities as the President said uh, Tuesday evening. We will always act decisively to protect the American people. We will never hesitate to defend U.S. interests and the rules-based international order. We will confront the dangers posed by the PRC with resolve and keep demonstrating that violations of any country's sovereignty are unacceptable. This irresponsible act put on full display what we've long recognized, that the PRC has become more repressive at home and more aggressive abroad. It reinforced the need for us to double down on our strategy, invest, align, compete. Through it all, we have and will maintain open lines of communication so we can responsibly manage the competition between our countries. We do not seek conflict with the PRC. We believe in the power of diplomacy to prevent miscalculations that can lead to conflict. 